We want to give a shout out to Brian Moore. Thanks for the request and just craft it. For this craft, you'll need recycled paper board, glue, scrapbook paper, paper clips, and printables from our blog are optional. Start by taking the template from our blog and cut it out. If you don't have a template, you can draw a template of your own. Just make sure there's a front, a back, a spine, and a flap to keep the binder closed. Now take your template and glue it on a heavy cardstock or recycled paperboard. Now you can take a scrap piece of fabric like we're doing or you can take scrapbook paper to cover your binder. We've used scrapbook paper in past videos like our doll photo albums so we want to try something new with the fabric. Just apply glue to your template and then put it into place on your paper or your fabric and then start by gluing the ends in. So apply glue to each corner, fold the fabric over, and then to cover up the inside of the binder, you can use more fabric or cardstock. We're just going to glue it into place to cover all the seams. Now take a paper clip, open it up, and just cut off the end. If there's a color coating on your paper clip, you can remove that by peeling it back. Mark in your binder where you want your three rings to be with a pencil, add glue, and then place your paper clips in the glue. You might need to hold it until the glue dries. You can take regular filler paper and cut it down to doll size and then hole punch it, or you can use the printables from our blog. You can also take some of the folders that we made in our doll folder video, hole punch it, and stick it in the binder. So now you have folders, filler paper, and we also have divider templates on our blog. Just make sure you hole punch the papers and the folders in the same place so they're even in your binder. Now the inside of your binder is complete, but we need the flap to stay closed. So take a small piece of Velcro, have it attached together, glue it to the flap, and then glue it to the front of the binder so it's in the exact same spot. Now your binder can stay closed when not in use. Our dolls are now ready to keep their homework organized. What other back to school items do they need? 